Good morning. Oh, I look like a door today. But I wanted to show you something. When Greg and I were in Sisters, we um, couldn't find our mask one day. And so we went to the store there and they had these really cool masks. You can wear them as headbands. You can wear them around your neck as a neck warmer, or you can. It's hard to get it over my glasses. You can wear it as a mask. Voila. So I, we thought these were pretty cool. So we bought um, a couple each. And I always have one in my purse in case I need it. So just so you know, these are stretchy and washable and um, they don't fog up my glasses. So just a tip. These are great, great masks to have. So today we're going back to streams in the desert and we're going to talk about something more fun than waiting. We're going to talk about singing. And I tell you what, that's one thing I look forward to about heaven because I love to sing. I used to be a worship leader. I was in a singing group all through college. Um, and now I just always croak. So, um, you know, I know some people can pull it off like Bette Midler and her gravelly throat, but for me, I just felt like a frog. So yeah, that's one thing I'm going to do in heaven is sing, sing, to the Lord, always giving thanks to God the Father for everything. And that's Ephesians 5.19. No matter the source of evil confronting you, if you are in God and thereby completely surrounded by him, you must realize that it is per first passed through him before coming to you. Because of this, you can thank him for everything that comes your way. This does not mean thanking him for sin that accompanies evil, but offering thanks for what he will bring out of it and through it. May God make our life one continual thanksgiving and praise, so he will then make everything a blessing. I once saw a man draw some black dots on a piece of paper. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Several of us looked at it and yet saw nothing but an irregular arrangement of dots. And then he drew a few lines, put in a few rests, and added a treble clef at the beginning. And suddenly we realized that the dots were musical notes, and we begin to sound them out. And we were singing. I'm going to sing this to you. Join in with me, please. You know this song. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him, all creatures here below. Praise him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Oh, I love that song, don't you? Each of us has many black dots or spots in our life, and we cannot understand why they are there or why God permitted them. But when we allow him into our life to adjust the dots in the proper way, to draw the lines that he desires, and to put rests at the proper places to separate us from certain things, from there, then from the black dots and spots, he will compose a glorious harmony. So do not let him hinder his work in us. Oh, I love that. Would we know that the major chords were sweet if there were no minor key? Would the painter's work be fair to our eyes without shade on land or sea? Would we know the meaning of happiness? Would we feel that the day was bright if we'd, ne we'd never known what it was to grieve nor gazed at the dark of night? Many people owe the grandeur of their lives to the tremendous to their tremendous difficulties. When an organist presses the black keys of a great organ, the notes are just as beautiful as when he presses the white ones. Yet to fully demonstrate the capabilities of the instru instrument, he must press them all. Oh, I just love that example of the dots in our lives and that when we let God connect them, um, he is creating this beautiful song. And even that poem really touched me because I take a lot of pictures. We travel a lot and I, I love to take pictures. 
And recently we've been to Smith Rock in Central Oregon and hiked it uh, two separate times. And the first time the day was partly cloudy. And then this last time we went, it was, it was sunny. There wasn't a cloud in the sky. And guess which of my pictures were better? It was the ones with the clouds. There's something about the shadow and the reflection in the water. And as I looked at those two sets of pictures, you know, the first took my breath away and the second was just like, eh, you know, pretty place. But it was the clouds and the shadow that made the, the photos more interesting. So um, maybe I'll show those to you tomorrow and you can decide. But um, what is you think about those dots? What do you have a song that is rising up in your heart? Something that you just... Um, you feel led to sing to God on a regular basis, or you sing to um, bring comfort and encouragement to your own soul. So think about that and um, sing to God and sing that doxology to him often. And um, yeah, as we sing, we glorify him and we, we become a beautiful thing. So let's pray. Lord, um, Thank you for the gift of song. Thank you just for that illustration about how you connect the dots and put in the rests and the stops. And all of that is part of building a beautiful harmony and a beautiful melody into our lives that will bring you glory and touch others. So help us to, to look at that from your perspective instead of uh, kicking against the goad, Lord, and being confused and frustrated by the dots. Help us to trust that you are bringing a beautiful song out of our lives. And we do praise you, Lord, in this difficult time, and we do um, sing your praises. So I would ask that the Holy Spirit would just begin to raise up praise songs um, in our hearts today and that we would start just to sing, that it would become a habit, the habit of singing praise to you, that we would offer that sacrifice of praise on a daily, hourly basis, Lord, that we would be more um, conformed to the image of Christ. It's in your name we pray. Amen. All right. Talk to you later. Stay safe and healthy.